Hey, good morning everyone, especially my wife Rachel, sorry you're not here. Thought I'd put a, a video out just showing you my whole camp setup all at once so you guys see how I'm camping. It's kind of cool, it works really good for me. It's probably all I need, I should just sell everything and live in this truck, but let's get to it. So, I'm out camped in the National Forest here. Somewhere just off the Mogollon Rim, I think that's how you say it, road. So this is a 93 Dodge turbo diesel truck. Gets pretty good mileage. I mean, even with the camper and everything on it, it's getting, let's zoom out here a little. It gets about 16 and a half miles per gallon average with the camper, which is pretty good considering it's been real reliable. It's got a couple small leaks and stuff, but it does have a bitch and ram's head. <laughs> so let's start here. Up in the cab, I got a lot of my camping stuff. Pretty standard and basic in here. It's just a uh, bench seat, automatic with four wheel drive. But here I have a, uh, fridge and freezer 63 quart works really well I can reach through from either inside the trailer or in here and get my stuff and being an older truck this stuff doesn't open but I can lift the seat there's actually jump seats in here behind these water containers and I have stuck people back here it's pretty small but here's my five gallon uh, or six gallon water and another Gallon, a five gallon container here. I like this one, you can set it on a table and there's a spout. And then I can do all my stuff outside. And the trailer itself's got like 25 gallons. I do like this old truck has locking hubs. So if I turn the hub keys there, everything's totally disconnected. Nothing's spinning. There's no no wear and tear. I don't know why they got rid of those new trucks. Just convenience, I guess. And then on this side, there's nothing here now, but normally propane and my gray water tank sits right here. And you can see the fridge keeps its temperature really well in the freezer. It's about it in here got these really nice uh, torque lift trailer tie downs here I got they got springs in this piece so like if it's a really rough road it uh, doesn't rip the mounts out of this and I've got these as close as I can you know to the body I actually had a torque lift for ten dollars a piece made me the custom brackets that go way up under the frame I told them what size I wanted. They made me the perfect size so these don't stick down at all. So this trailer ain't coming off, even in an accident. And the rear one, I use this, uh, I think it's Happy Jack makes these. If you've got an old bumper, these things are rock solid. I've noticed on my wife's 2013 Silverado, the bumper is really flimsy and moves a lot. So I wouldn't use them on real heavy campers. Here's another one of these spring things. And outside, I know a lot of people in Alaskans are always saying, well, I need a water heater. These older ones don't have them. I'll tell you what, that, just solar shower, shower right there, gets raging hot. I leave it right here. And I can either take a shower out here. I have a shower tent, but it's, it's isolated here, so I don't have to worry about that. Or I can use the hot water in this uh, collapsible butt, uh, basin to do the dishes. And you see I got some stuff from breakfast drying out. But here is, and this makes the rangers happy, of course. This is my gray tank container and my propane. At home, I actually had a bracket that goes on the bumper to hold them off the ground. And I can drive with them, but I wanted the ground clearance for this trip. And that's about it outside. And this is, you know course the, with the trailer up and you can't see but you can kind of see a little 
that, that's a solar panel along the side there. It's one 13 foot strip. I have three of them on there for a total of 690 watts. And it's been doing pretty good, even though I'm in this totally shaded area. It's still, uh, it's put out some good power. But uh, I also use this rock pals and this little portable panel to charge some of the little stuff at night, especially so I don't drain my one Walmart battery dead. <laughs> it's holding up pretty good though, $100 battery. And I got a barbecue grill in here, in this box, and it just hooks to a propane tank. And a barbecue outside, no mess. I don't know if you can see it, there's a lot of bees and wasps around. They need water, so I left some water in there, they're liking it. And then, uh, now we come inside. I've got a normal stove, uh, stove top and no, no oven. I wish I had an oven. And some really old heater, it works well. It doesn't have a fan or anything, it's just a little can, canister, but I, I rarely use it. And over here I've got the three-way fridge, which I don't use anymore too much. It can't handle, if it's 90 degrees or warmer, it, it does a horrible job. The air intake comes in right here underneath and the exhaust is right here and there's no fans. If I added a couple fans, it might work better. And look at that, a wasp on my window and a bee on my window. That doesn't make me happy. Maybe I should uh, move that water. <laughs> but regardless, and here's the water uh, sink here. No hot water, like I said, but I just boil it if I need it. And this container here, take from the bees, it fits right in there too. So I can put everything in here and then take it outside and wash. Kind of like when you're tent camping. It's kind of cool. I also have a whole lot of electronics. It's got a 1,500 watt inverter underneath the here and a big solar charger and a bunch of other stuff hidden. Probably not a great place to put it all because I made it to be removable, but it's still pretty hard to get to. But there's all the electronics and stuff down there. I wanted to keep them hidden. I hate having electronics showing. And it's an older trailer, 1974, and it's had a couple water leaks, but overall it's in pretty good shape. And this is this serves as my TV, and I run it off of this cell phone Wi-Fi, and it works pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. It's uh, got a good picture. It's like super cheap, these Amazon things. And as small as it is in here, the screen's plenty big for wherever I'm sitting. That's about it. The only electronic thing in here is the inverter control and just my uh, USB charger right there. Everything else is hidden. I have this hooked into the AC power and the inverter. The inverter powers all the plugs in this and then I can hook up a coffee pot or toaster. Or in here I got a microwave. I'll put that on top. I don't want to use it. And a wooden table. I took out the original uh, table that goes right here because it takes up all your space. It sucks. And I made some uh, three wooden slats, one by twos, that go just right across here. And then I can make this whole bed if I want instead of having that giant table always in my way. And these are three-way lights. And I love them. They're one, this is an AC bulb, but it's LED. It's incredibly bright, but it's daytime, so you can't see it. And for all the 12 volt, I have a very dim 12 volt yellow and a very bright 12 volt yellow, and you can have them both on. The dim one makes a nice low glow in here at night if you don't want to burn your eyes out. And then this yellow one's crazy bright. But I use yellow because it doesn't attract all the insects. Makes a giant difference, and you don't even notice it's yellow after a while. You get used to it. And of course, you know, fantastic fan for uh, quick cooling. It works well. Overall, real happy at the Alaskan. And this is the kind of thing it's made for is to, you know, camp in the middle of nowhere, and gather wasps in your place. What in the world? 
And this is how I access the fridge. It's slightly inconvenient, but it's better than, uh, you know, got all the essentials in there, but it's better than having to take up space. I got a lot of stuff in there. Plus, underneath these, there's lots of uh, storage in here. I've got like a shower tent. If I'm camped somewhere with people around, I'll use the shower tent and I've got a, I'll use that solar shower and the everyday five gallon bucket for, you know, using the restroom. Five gallon bucket works good. I have a cassette toilet and those just suck. They're way messier and a pain in the ass. So I'd never do that. But if you're out camping in the middle of nowhere like I am, I use the uh, cat hole shovel method, which is way preferable and it's legal. So that's about it. Oh, and my bike. My bike actually. I just put it in there. This one's long enough, so I take the bike and roll it right up front and lay it over on the uh, couch on the right. Or I can stand up on the other couch completely. Even with the top down, it fits in. And I love this. Go riding all the time. So I guess that's it. That's about my whole, uh, my rig to say about it. I really like these pop-up campers. They're real minimalist. I always hear people complain, you know, well, how come you don't have a shower or a bathroom? And I'm like, you know, if you go in the backwoods areas, it doesn't matter. And these aren't really the campers for going in RV parks and you know, living in luxury. These are made so the tops are low and you can get underneath trees and all kinds of stuff. Well, that's about it for now. Hope you uh, enjoyed my talking about my stuff. <laughs> I'll try to post fun stuff on here. But you got to wait for my wife, Rachel. She's super fun. When, when she's around, we're going to have a blast. But uh, that's that's it, friends. I hope you're having a good life and uh, COVID isn't getting you down too far. I know it messed with me pretty good. I mean, you can't tell. Well, you can't tell. I've gained like 40 pounds. And I had enough of this COVID stuff. I, I had to get out of the house and I'm not going back. All right. Love you all. Bye.